Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Haru TV family. It is I am OE for the 713. We're back with another episode. And yeah, man, today's episode, it is what it is right here in the in the title. Y'all know what we're talking about. All right. Because uh, some of y'all been messaging me about uh, this this movie role, all right, in the movie Pinocchio. Uh, Luke Evans will portray another Disney villain as he lands a role in the live-action Pinocchio after playing Gaston as Beauty and the Beast. All right, that's what it was, Beauty and the Beast. But he's playing uh, this dude right here, the coachman. This dude. If y'all don't remember what this dude is about, he's an evil, evil dude. I mean, just check out the original. How would you blokes like to make some real money? <laughs> I'm collecting stupid little boys. Stupid little boys? You know, the disobedient ones what play or give from school. Oh. And you know, I take them to Pleasure Island. Oh, uh, Pleasure Island. Pleasure Island? But the law! Suppose they... No, no, there's no risk. They never come back as boys. <laughs> They're basically just spitting in our faces, guys. The, the whole Save Our Children movement is just... Uh, they shut everybody down. And it's just a movie to just throw it in everybody's faces, saying that they won. I mean, I made a video about this before, guys. It's just, and it got deleted in my old channel. But either way, um, I, I don't know if I re-uploaded it. I'll probably re-upload it on Rumble. I'm not sure. Uh, by the way, if y'all want to follow me on Rumble, it's High Roots TV. No spaces at all. High Roots TV. And also on uh, BitChute, it's uh, High Roots TV. No spaces at all. Just High Roots TV. In case people were wondering, because y'all say y'all can't find me. There's no spaces. No, no nothing like that. Uh, just a little bit of FYI. But anyway, uh, yeah, man. So I guess this movie is actually happening. It's actually happening. Uh, there's a reason why horror movie fanatics love Pinocchio and have adopted the movie, the movie Pinocchio, as a horror film because it actually, when you look back into it, this movie is actually a horror film. I mean, it's just strange, guys. It's really as fuck, especially because Tom Hanks is actually gonna play on it, and you know, with all the the stuff that's going on with Tom Hanks and you know the Hollywood and these pedal what's going on, it seems like they this is something that just gonna. Uh, Basically, just throw in people's faces, all right? Save the children for what they're going to say. If they want to speak out, the kids are going to speak out. You know, the noses are going to grow big saying they're liars. You know, there might be just some subliminals there, which is weird. So, uh, yeah, I mean, it just might be like that. But, I mean, this movie is just disgusting, guys. If you go back to it and just see the, the, the meanings of this movie, it's just disgusting. But anyway, let's get to the media and Tom Hanks. Man. For some reason, the media keep on persuading everybody that Tom Hanks is the best person ever. You know, because he just finished uh, doing that movie, uh, News of the World, with another young girl, you know, supposedly trying to save her from trafficking or... What do you want? How much you want for her? This child is not for sale. You can't have her! And I'm taking her home! They're trying to white knight Tom Hanks and trying to make him seem like a, a goody-goody guy once again. I mean, articles everywhere are trying to white knight Tom Hanks. Uh, give it a little bit of example like this article right here. The Observer, Tom Hanks. Honest, brave, modest. Why the world can, can't get enough of Tom Hanks. This was made, when was this made? Today, the 31st of January. Uh, or tomorrow. I mean, it is the first. If you're watching this, it's already the first. But this was the last day of January. We already know it's BSE. They're trying to say he's honest, brave, and wonderful. Just what? Because of the movie? They're trying to judge a man's character because of a movie? You know, he is an actor, right? Bunch of BS. <laughs> it's ridiculous at this point. Uh, <laughs> well, I don't know why this photo's right here. All right. I'm not going to read this shit, but it's just... They're basically trying to make Tom Hanks a, a noble, noble person. People can't get enough of him. Who else talked about him uh, recently? <laughs> I don't know why they did this. But let me look into it. Yes, guys. There's, there's a news article right here. Chrissy Teigen reveals what Tom Hanks said on his hot mic during the inauguration rehearsal. Out of all the people, you're going to believe it's Chrissy Teigen? This damn Satanist? Chrissy Teigen just confirmed what we already knew about Tom Hanks. Not only is he delightful as a human being, is he not? Is he, he's he's delightful as a human being? Uh, do they believe that they're higher than human beings? Is he a fucking alien? What was going on? 
It's weird. Just read that once again. Not only is he delightful as a human being, but he's completely professional, even while standing in the cold for hours in last week's inauguration special. Over the weekend, the 35-year-old model shared a backstage photo of herself from the Hanks primetime special celebrating America during uh, whatever with John Legend, whatever, blah, blah, blah. All right, so y'all heard it here first. Tom Hanks is officially delightful as a human being. Fucking demons, bro. They're demons. They're straight up demons. They just slipped up right there. It's disturbing, disturbing, disturbing uh, what this movie is about. And uh, if y'all watched the original film, it's just a horror movie, guys. About kids being uh, killed, basically, in an island. It's like Jeffrey Epstein and a bunch of other islands. But it's just, uh, it's just there. But anyway, let's move on to the next topic. I want to share this video with you guys. This segment it has to do, of course, with COVID-19, all right? But it seems like they're, they're pushing a way new low, man. You know how they're trying to promote the, the COVID vaccine? It seems like the they stumped a new low. I couldn't believe my, my ears. I couldn't believe my eyes. I mean, it seems like they're, um, they're, they're using Holocaust victims, all right? Uh, survivors, Holocaust survivors, as a way to uh, manipulate everybody into getting the vaccine. You know, there's a weird agenda going on with the whole Holocaust and the Jews and, you know, the gassing and, and what they're doing right now, man. Let's just roll the footage. Irving Levine is a Holocaust survivor, a witness to the hideous atrocities of Nazi Germany during World War II. Today, at the age of 93, he and his wife Esther are getting COVID vaccines here at Holy Name Medical Center in Teaneck. Like so many others, Irving's life was put on hold because of the deadly coronavirus. It's forced him to isolate from friends and family. I stay home a lot. I cannot go out. So now I'm sitting mostly home. Irving's son, Selwyn, is a doctor at Holy Name and was on hand to witness his father's vaccination. It was an important day. For the past 11 months, you know, trying to protect him, especially me working in a hospital and perhaps being a, a danger to my family. He's been very, he's been very isolated and, and separated from the family for this, for this period of time. Irving Levine was liberated from the horrors of Nazi Germany and has every intention to survive this pandemic too. When they look at these, these survivors, they have this incredible will to live and survive. You never can do justice to making analogies to anything to the Holocaust. Everything, everything pales. But with this vaccine on the horizon, you know, looking at it in a way, uh, another liberation where he can you know, get on with his life. And now I think this vaccine is, is going to just allow me to reestablish my, my life with my father the way me and my family wanted to be. So it was very emotional. They brought the Holocaust into telling you guys that if somebody from the Holocaust can survive COVID-19, you could, I mean, it's just strange. They're using the Holocaust to promote vaccines. That's basically it. I mean, if y'all don't find that disturbing, how they're using the Holocaust to promote vaccines, I don't know. I don't know what's wrong with you guys. I don't know what's wrong with this people. The media has no boundaries, officially. You know, who would have thought, uh, let's use the Holocaust to keep promoting the vaccine and try to inspire new people to uh, to uh, to get the, the vaccine. At the end of the day, I wouldn't share this video because it's just a weird, weird piece of propaganda that should be marked in history is just disturbing and weird as fuck it just shows uh the new law that the media media has no boundaries the media doesn't care they just they will try to get their agenda across at all cost that's what basically i'm trying to say but it's just it's pretty messed up in my opinion but i don't know maybe i'm tripping guys uh leave your comments down below let me know what y'all think about everything that i talk about but anyway thank you for watching guys once again uh, all my patreon members i want to thank everybody man that have been joining my patreon I appreciate you guys. You guys are the ones that are pushing me to keep on making these type of videos and, and just, you know, standing up for uh, for free speech. I mean, just anyway, thank y'all, everybody on Patreon once again. Uh, if you haven't yet, follow me on Instagram, 713 MOE. All the links in the description down below. Yeah, man. Go ahead, like, subscribe, hit the bell notification sign. And yeah, man, it's MOE for the 713. We'll see y'all on the next episode. Bam.